think one of the most important things to identify first is what is actually causing your stress. And a lot of people fail to just acknowledge that certain things can be incredibly stressful, even good things. So often with graduate students, the biggest transition is initially coming to graduate school. First of all, you're moving to a new city. That can be tremendously stressful, um, finding new housing, feeling comfortable in your new environment. Students are also leaving friends and family and support potentially that they had in the place where they were living before. And so you're beginning to lose some of that support network and having the pressure of building a new support network. Also, when you come to graduate school, you raise the bar with the level of academic performance of your peers. And that is very stressful. I personally remember coming to medical school and looking around and thinking to myself, everybody in here was probably a valedictorian of their class. So I always reminded myself that we're like, our academic ladder is like a pyramid. And when you're making it to graduate school, you're already at the top of this pyramid. And so if you start to not perform as well in graduate school, you need to put things into perspective and realize that you're all the way up here. And there's this gradation at the very top here. Um, an additional stressor for graduate students um, is trying to identify themselves academically. So I can remember coming to med school and thinking all of my you know, college career was about I'm going to get into med school, I'm going to get into med school, and then when I got there, I thought, my God, there's all of this pressure to actually perform and be a medical student. And then the pressure continues once you graduate. Then you actually have to go on to be a lawyer, social worker, pharmacist, nurse, physician. And you actually have to perform as that professional. And so it's really trying to establish what your identity will be. Um, additional stressors are that life just happens, um, whether or not you're in graduate school. And it can be hard to figure out how to balance just maintaining a normal life. And then if stress is thrown into that or changes happen in your life um, that are unexpected, it can be tremendously stressful for students. Additional stressors that students are faced with um, are not performing at the level that they're used to performing. And so a lot of times once students re reach graduate school, they may be getting grades that they've never seen on their report cards before. And so that can be a bit of a blow to somebody's ego. Um, you have to develop skills on how to balance this new life that you've created. And a lot of times, students will come into graduate school completely gung-ho, doing nothing but studying 24-7. And that's when students really start to burn out. And there have been studies with medical students looking at their levels of depression, levels of stress, and levels of burnout. And they seem to do initially OK. They have the same rates of depression and psychiatric problems as the rest of um, their peers elsewhere. But once they get through that first year and then into their second year, that last semester in their second year, there's really such a heightened level um, of stress and depression and potential for burnout. And so a lot of times students will come in feeling like they're in sprint mode, go full force, ignore everything else um, pertaining to their life, and then they quickly start to fizzle out. Um, and so we'll talk about one of the key strategies is to look at graduate school more like a marathon and figuring out what a pace, setting your own pace for yourself at the beginning.